Yo, I done six shows in a row, so my voice is hurting. Fans wanna hear what you're in person. Boy, oi. She want a man from Brom, but she settled with a boy from Burton. I still see feds on a block. Hi guys, welcome back to another episode of The Beard Necessities on the Facial Fuzz, the series where I try and cut through the misinformation out there regarding our monoxyl beard journeys and bring you the most up-to-date information. And today, I'm going to be talking about Boron, which you may or may not have already heard of, which is a supplement that is often marketed for bone health. However, it does have some interesting results when taken that could help support our beard journeys. How can a bone supplement help with beard growth? Well, I'll tell you how. So a study was done in which they found that a 10 milligram daily dosage of boron actually reduced the amount of sex hormone binding globulin that was in your blood. Now, sex hormone binding globulin controls the amount of testosterone that your body tissues can use. Now, I'm only taking nine milligrams because I have three milligram tablets and I take them all at the same time in the morning. The study also found that it actually increased the levels of free testosterone in your blood and decreased the level of estradiol, which is an estrogen. But Adam, we're men. We don't have estrogen. That's a female hormone. Well, believe it or not, men actually do have natural levels of estrogen in their body in the same way that women have natural levels of testosterone and DHT. Now with estradiol in men, it's actually converted through a process of aromatization, essentially biosynthesis of androgens into estrogens. Now for the most interesting and perhaps significant element of the study, it found that that 10 milligram dosage of boron taken daily actually increased the levels of dihydrotestosterone, or DHT for short, within our system. Those of you that have watched my videos before will know that DHT is the androgen hormone that is primarily responsible for our facial hair growth. What it also does is helps mature those facial hair follicles into terminal follicles that will then produce terminal hairs that you will then be able to obviously keep after your monoxidil journey ends. If you're like me, you're gonna want some more proof than some twat and a flannel shirt on a YouTube video telling you all of this. So I've actually put the link to the study in the description it's from a very reputable source that you can trust. Um, and thank you very much for watching. Uh, if you could like, comment and subscribe, really appreciate it. And I'll see you again next time. Hi guys, welcome back to another Facial Fuzz Friday. It is week 19 now on Minoxidil, using it on my face to grow a beard. And as you can see so far, it's working. 